Hey guys, what's uh, what's good? What's going down? Just thought I'd do a little uh, kind of catch up video uh, and a little talk, you know, overlaying uh, some training that myself and Louis did on what was actually my last ever back day in King's Gym Volume One. So me and Louis wanted to get a workout in before it shut because obviously me and Louis go way back. Um, he's one of my best friends so uh, I was fortunate enough to join him for a back session of which he led the way I was happy to do some different stuff um, reason being is at the minute I'm currently not pushing too hard so I'm a little bit more flexible with how I train um, the time to push hard is coming uh, very shortly uh, little update Body weight is high two six uh, high two sixties no 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 high two nineties. Um, I peaked at like three hundred and ten pounds. Uh, I've probably got about six to eight weeks before I need to start dieting for what will be the Arnold Classic UK. So my plan for the next few weeks is probably just to up my food again a little bit. Uh, try and peak my weight back into that three hundred plus realm. So I have a lot of good tissue to uh, slowly, slowly chip away from and hopefully bring something <clears throat> more than respectable to that stage. Um, as you can see with the training, we started with some regular pull downs, uh, followed them up with the underarm high row, which was always a favourite of mine just because back in the day watching Blood and Guts, obviously Dorian used to use a very similar machine. Um, he used to swear by it with the underarm grip, so how can you not? Uh, this day we literally just did how I'd normally train, but with Louis' exercises. So sets were like two per, per an exercise. And rep ranges were just pretty standardised. They were like 8 to 12 uh, with a little touch here and there. Uh, Louis currently isn't doing any four reps. He's running kind of like a PCT. Well, not even a PCT, actually, more like a, a TRT. So, therefore, he's been very sensible with his training, very instinctive at the minute. Like I have been over the past probably two months or so. Um, we moved on to some horizontal seal rows. Great exercise, purely because you just can't cheat. When you've got weight dangling in your hand and you're flat on a bench... It's almost impossible to uh, to cheat. So this is a great exercise if you're trying to thicken up that mid to upper back uh, with an overhand grip. Very, very hard. Very, very taxing. It takes the wind out of you uh, incredibly quick, as you'll notice on my sets. Um, you'll notice on my forearm here, I have a tattoo that says 100% or nothing. Um... You know, reasons for that is I always noticed that when I did give 100% to anything is when I succeeded in it. Um, so it was just for me to have a daily reminder of my own, I suppose, ethos towards achieving. Because I've never really had anything good come from working anything under 100%. So uh, I swear by it. And when I say working 100%, you know, I'm telling you right now, like I'm not training at 100%. But that's part of the being 100% because you can't always take it to the limit and destroy yourself. So I'm more of the guy that's like I'm 100% in tune with what I'm doing rather than I'm 100% output. Um, so for those that watch this and think, yeah, but you're not 100%, that's why. It's, uh, it's more of a logical 100%. I'm 100% dedicated to my training, to my rest, to my nutrition, to my... You know, periodization of intensity and how hard I train. Uh, and I think that's very valuable. And I think that's what keeps longevity. You know, I'm 15 sort of years deep now in competing. And fortunately, I haven't had any massive uh, trials along the way when it comes to like physical impediments. Um, and hopefully that remains just because of the way that I decide to train. Um, we've moved from the seal row now to a, uh, a prone, a neutral grip dumbbell row. These actually feel really good. They feel very healthy on the shoulders, very healthy on the back. If you're someone that has a few niggles, maybe 
this is definitely the dumbbell row variation that I find least uh, aggra aggravating. Sometimes a single arm, if you've got a little knot in your shoulder or, I don't know, a tight hip can be quite annoying. So this takes away and eliminates those, eliminates, sorry, those potential issues. Uh, you won't be able to lift as heavy because obviously you're braced, uh, but you'll, you'll feel it a lot. So yeah, this was the last week of King's Gym, uh, last, I think the day, I think this was a Wednesday, and we closed the gym the following evening, while we relocate to a new location just around the corner, which I'm really looking forward to, uh, it's been a long time coming, you know, we're always trying to level up at King's Gym, and that goes in all aspects, um, but the facility itself is going to be improved, got loads of new kit coming from Gym 80, Pinata, um, Gym Leco, Got some nice Nautilus stuff in there, so as well as having all the original kit that we have, we have uh, plenty of uh, new toys coming over as well. Right, similar grip on this low row. Um, this is more to try and hit lower lats. As you can see, I'm pulling in and then pulling down. So it's kind of like arcing over and down. Try to brace my body as tight as possible so there's no momentum. These feel really good at this point in the workout. I wouldn't necessarily put these earlier when you're strong. I'd put these towards the second half when you're starting to feel a bit tired so that you don't have to go excessively heavy, uh, but you can get a really good contraction. Uh, a good alternative to this would be like a neutral grip prime row. Um, although I do like the arc of coming up and then down over coming down and then up. If you notice on a lot of row machines, the lever pulls your elbow up and back towards your trap which I find great for traps but not so good for lower lats so when I'm trying to hit lower back I'd rather something that I can arc the other way which I'm kind of explaining there uh, move on to some just pullovers but on the cable using an EZ bar just find it's comfortable on the wrist versus a straight bar or even a rope I do prefer this to a rope I just feel like the tension is more consistent um, Louis, Louis shown you uh, a good tempo there. All right, finishing off the uh, kind of lower lap portion. This is where we get onto the uh, bodybuilding kit, um, gym shop kit. Sorry, uh, pull down, single arm, unilateral. You'll notice here that I'm just bloody zoned in. Like I'm just trying to concentrate on nothing in the gym except my my right lat <laughs> and I find you've got to be like that on this machine because it's very easy to get wrong if you don't apply yourself it takes a lot of concentration I brace with the left hand uh, so that my body doesn't twist too much and I try and drive that right arm down but not too back more down in front I find that keeps it more on the portion of the lats that I want to hit uh, as you can see I'm only going like three and a half plates here which is quite light on this machine considering everything we've done already um, it's more than enough at that point for me good slow tempo I'm like this with most of my lifts to be fair unless it's like a free weight I am quite a fan of time under tension I know many don't agree but I just feel like it's I just feel like it's the right way for me and stops me getting injured so I'm, not, I'm trying not to let the shoulder lift at the top. I'm trying to keep the tension on the lat. Because I could let my shoulder literally come out of place and follow my arm. But I'm actually trying to keep it down. That set definitely battered me. And then we finished up with some uh, abs. I do the abs at the end of every upper body session. Um, genetically a weak point for me. So they need the work. They need the work. So, guys, next time I see you, we'll be in the New Kings. Wishing you all the best. Peace and love.